now the most important thing is to monitor, is to understand what's happening. It's not a normal situation in our type of work. We divided SEEK, the whole SEEK, into 15 sectors. Our cooperation for development in saving this place, which is really for humanity. Being on the World Heritage List, it means that it's unique. It's unique globally. Petra, in, in general terms, uh, is subject to uh, many natural hazards like earthquakes, uh, uh, weathering, that means the uh, erosion of the sandstone that is very friable, and uh, floods. We have many challenges in the site, natural and human, natural like geology, and you can see all the way of the site even in the sea uh, area, and the human by uh, the local people, by uh, uh, our conservation, by the people who are doing uh, conservation and restoration for the site. In 2009, we were alerted as a UNESCO office in Amman that there was one large block of stones in one of the narrowest parts of the sick that has a very large that had a very large crack all around, and it was prone probably to collapse. So we uh, brought some um, uh, technical expertise with us uh, from the Italian Geological Institute to look at the block of stone together with the Jordanian geologist and the Jordanian engineer and then build up a technique for the stability of, of this block of stone. We uh, asked for funding from the World Heritage Committee in Paris to do a rapid assessment of, of the SIC to see which area were more prone at uh, uh, block instability and did the first uh, survey. We worked for about a year and a half uh, with uh, simpler methodologies, you know, just measuring the, the crack movement uh, and the visual, uh, you know, recognitions of area at risk, mapping on a GIS mapping and so on. And all this material um, prompt the, uh, the preparation of a larger a larger project and a larger plan that is the one that we are implementing uh, uh, now during the, these days and for a three years period. In light of this background, UNESCO undertook a program geared towards the protection of this heritage in cooperation with various local and international partners. Italian government uh, is very interested in big uh, sites around the world, so we'd like to preserve also the monuments in the world. So we engage our cooperation for development in saving this place, which is really uh, for humanity. We gave to UNESCO, which is an implementing uh, agency, about one million dollars, US dollars. Part of our mission as the Petra National Trust to um, undertake projects that have an impact on the safety and security of the monuments and the visitors, the people of Petra. When I come down with ISPRA and uh, UNESCO and also with the people of the park, we make an overview of the SIC and we find the worst section where there is the uh, dangerous rock and wall to analyze. Now the most important thing is to monitor, is to understand what's happening and, and what are the, the typology of movements potential movements and what are the causes of this displacement. The, the scanning is the, the main support tool for the geologists. I mean the geologists are the core of the project but they need information, special information about the SIG and we are providing this information. The laser scanning process which we are using collects millions of surface points. The laser scanner hits the surface of the object, the signal is come back and the result is a point. Then we connect these points and we create a surface which you can compare to a computer game. This computer model which we've got covers the whole SIG. We've now got a computer model of the, of the complete SIG. 1.2 kilometers of millions and millions of points. And, and these points can now be used, or the, the model which we create can be used by the geologist to um, determine the position of cracks, to measure the length of cracks, to decide where they must do uh, intervention and uh, we can also monitor over time. You can come back in a month's time and scan again and you can see the differences. Actually, we divided SIEC, the whole SIEC, into 15 sectors, so to easily control the uh, measurement, measuring process. And uh, the main rule is 
to uh, supervise and control all surveying measurements uh, and in, in SEEK. We are dealing with each sector as a single unit and we are dealing on the data on a larger unit, in the full units, to understand the micro structures and the macro structure of the SEEK. For installing the monitoring device, we choose the most uh, suitable situation which we find and we suspect that instability will occur. We are using uh, some crack gauges and inclinometers and uh, manual deformometers in order to understand the deformation of the cracks in the major blocks that we have already detected as the most hazardous. The system is composed by two parts. One is the field part and one is the office part. In the field part, we have an automatic high accuracy total station like a TM30 that help them to automatically aim, recognize and measure all the prism installed on the rocks and on the walls. After that, they move to the office and then they can compute and analyze all the data in a special software that gives them all the deformation and all the 3D displacement in the time. The sensors was installed all over the SIC and because the SIC is uh, very narrow uh, we installed also some repeaters on the top of the SIC and that empower the radio messages and forward this to a concentrator node called Gateway that collects all the data and uh, transfer this with a GPS connection, so with an internet connection to a web server. In this way, the user can um, download or see the data via web, with a web browser uh, to understand uh, how the rocks moving. We had training on, on the devices, how it works and how to, to, um, to assemble the, the the device on the rocks because we can't carry, carry it as a one piece. So we take our drills with us and put, put, put the device, then we assemble the device on the rock, on the cracks and on the, on the rock faces so they can measure the movements of the rocks. So basically the training of the, of the installment of the device was done on the first day when all the teams sat together. Um, they, they were explaining to us, uh, both Laika and Minteos, uh, how to set up each device. Um, the difficulties of the small screws, the big screws, the kind of rock and all that. This phase is a phase of monitoring, uh, mostly. Uh, now we are just uh, studying the situation. The second phase, or third phase if you like, uh, would be maybe to intervene uh, in a practical way for the implementation uh, of what we can observe. So if we find something which is wrong or something which is dangerous, maybe we can uh, make something to, to put some remedy. Rock stability is a long time uh, observation. It doesn't occur in, in, uh, in a few days or a few months. It occurs in, in a years. I think this project has to, it's very important as a starting point to look for the movement of the rock for uh, lasting uh, for a long period and to see what and when we can interfere with the, with the instability of the rock. This monitoring in place is going to last for, you know, two and a half, three years. But of course, the monitoring system is in place. So during these two, three years, the international team and the local team will work together. So there will be a passage of information and knowledge management to the local authorities, Department of Antiquities and the Petra Park, to be able to continue the monitoring together. We are preparing now with the UNESCO Man office in order to train our staff because we have already uh, now ask the Prime Ministry uh, to appoint new staff in order to keep or to sustain this project. These staff should be trained actually as we don't have local experts in, in, in Jordan and in, especially in Petra. We've created an extensive geographic information system. It's a management system for the site. So we, we created this, this system but it's, it's rather complex. And the nature of many of these systems is you create them, they're ending up in some computer and nobody ever uses them. We will train Jordanian surveyors and archaeologists in using our specific data. Now we are the Prime Minister of Petra. We have been able to work with the UNESCO Museum of UNESCO on the GIS on the use of new techniques to protect the place and protect it in a better way. 
باستخدام طبعا ليزر سكانينج واستخدام يعني نيو فيتشرز هاي الفيتشرز الجديده يعني بتساعدنا على انه ندير الموقع بشكل افضل ونتنبا شو هي المخاطر اللي ممكن تصيب الفتره عشان نتخطاها في المستقبل. The idea is to have a record for the future to use the model for conservation work and for restoration work because now you can determine where the cracks are, you can determine the areas which need to be treated and, and you can generally get an impression of the, from a scientific perspective. But you can also use it for um, tourism. You, you can, for example, create a walkthrough, again like a computer game, where a tourist can walk through the site, especially uh, maybe disabled people who are not in a position to visit the site or, or older people or people who don't like climbing up steep hills. They can see Petra or the ever, whatever site we do on the computer screen in a virtual reality environment. Uh, we are also creating a virtual tour through Petra uh, for the tourist center, which can be used to, um, uh, for tourism, for tourists who cannot make the whole site. Our main role is to make a, a special training to the people to manage the periodical monitoring system, uh, to manage any kind of issue, and to understand uh, how to uh, make more powerful the analysis and the results. خلصنا تقريبا من المرحلة الأولى اللي هي التدريب على الجهاز والتدريب النظري والعملي ولكن احنا كموظفين دائرة الأثار العام مفنيين لازم نظل مواظبين على موضوع اللي هو التدريب على الجهاز والتدريب على تحليل المعلومات. We will produce guidance to local authorities to help them to prevent the effects, the impact of these events on visitors and on the conservation of the site. علمونا كيف نربط الربطات وكيف نستخدم الدريل وكيف نأمن حالنا بالحبل طالع نطلع وننزل التدريب هذا رايح نستغله في عندنا مشروع في السيك عشان أجهزة وما أجهزة نستخدم كيف ننزل بالحبل ونركب الأجهزة ونشيك على الأجهزة إحنا حاليا موجود عندنا في البترة مشروع سيك في أجهزة كيف حركة الصخور والحرارة وال... فإحنا ماخذين الدورات هذه عشان إحنا نصل للمواقع هذه لأنه في مستقبلا رايحين نركب أجهزة داخل البترة وإحنا نكون مشرفين على المواقع هذه وبالنسبة للشغلة الثانية في عمليات إنقاذ للسياحة بتكون يعني معنا إنه إحنا بنكون كويسين في الموضوع هذا. We are the first people to climb here. We are the first people to reach these points in Petra. So all the rocks, the cracks, everything is virgin. We call it virgin because there is no one touched it before. It's a very big job. Um, it's hectic. It's too many teams together. Uh, the coordination is not that easy. But the job is being done. This is only the first phase of a long way to, uh, uh, ahead that we, we have started and I think it's a very uh, successful and excellent start for us with this international cooperation from the government of Italy as well as from the UNESCO uh, office. It's not a normal situation in our type of work. So we had to develop new systems and obviously UNESCO believes that we could do this. There are no other sites like this. There may be some sites, I mean, geological similar, maybe. But, you know, having this geological environment used by the Nabataeans in the way that they use it, with a very sophisticated management system, with a very sophisticated uh, uh, areas of and carving of tombs and construct building construction, made it absolutely not unique, exceptional. Mm -hmm.